Hello everyone. Welcome to General Updates YouTube channel. Diseases of rice, being one of the world's most important staple crops, is susceptible to various diseases that can significantly impact its yield and quality. Some of the common diseases of rice include Bacterial leaf blight, BLB, caused by the bacterium Xanthomonas aurazi pv. Aurazi, BLB leads to water-soaked lesions on leaves, which eventually turn yellow and die. It causes lesions on leaves, stems, and panicles, leading to severe yield losses and can affect rice crops at all growth stages. Sheath blight, caused by the fungus Rhizoctonia solani, sheath blight affects the leaf sheaths and can result in extensive damage to the plant. It is particularly prevalent in areas with high humidity and temperatures. Brown spot, caused by the fungus Cochleobolus myrbinus, brown spot disease causes small brown lesions with yellow halos on leaves. It can affect the entire plant and reduce yield. Tungro, Tungro is a viral disease transmitted by green leaf hoppers. It affects rice plants by causing stunted growth, yellowing of leaves, and reduced grain production. Bacterial panicle blight, caused by Burkholderia glamii and Burkholderia gladioli, this disease affects the panicles, resulting in seed discoloration and shriveled grains. Bacani disease, caused by the fungus Fusarium fujikuroi, Bacani disease leads to foolish seedling symptoms, where the infected seedlings become elongated and appear healthier than normal, but they eventually die. Rice tungrospherical virus, RTSV, transmitted by the brown plant hopper, RTSV can cause a yellowing and stunting of the plants, leading to reduced yield. Rice yellow mortal virus, RYMV, transmitted by insects. RYMV can cause yellowing of leaves and significant yield losses in affected plants. Ufra. Ufra is a physiological disorder that affects rice fields during the vegetative stage, leading to blank or empty panicles and reduced grain yield. Effective management of these diseases involves a combination of cultural practices, crop rotation, use of disease-resistant rice varieties, and judicious application of fungicides or pesticide when necessary. Regular monitoring and early detection of disease symptoms are crucial for implementing appropriate control measures.